Representatives of Japanese atomic bomb survivors have delivered a strong message to negotiators discussing a nuclear weapons ban. It's a petition with nearly three million signatures. The second round of negotiations aimed at concluding the world's first ever nuclear weapons ban treaty is being held at UN headquarters in New York. On the second day of talks, the representatives of atomic bomb survivors in Hiroshima and Nagasaki presented the petition to the chair of the meeting, Costa Rica's envoy Elaine White. They said their group collected the signatures in just over a year, since last April. One of the representatives, Masako Wada, handed over the petition along with a paper crane, a symbol of peace. <laughs> I appreciated that the draft treaty incorporates the Japanese word hibakusha. The draft represents the long path we followed as hibakusha. Japan has not sent an official delegation to the talks. Also in New York, atomic bomb survivor Masao Tomonaga from Nagasaki met Japan's UN ambassador Koro Besho. He delivered a message from Nagasaki's mayor, Tomohisa Taue. It describes a feeling of disappointment among Nagasaki citizens over Japan's absence from the negotiations. Tomonaga said the ambassador told him he understands their feelings, but that Japan cannot decide on its own to leave the U.S. nuclear umbrella because of the threat posed by North Korea. Ambassador Besho said Japan has had to make a difficult choice regarding the ongoing talks.